My name is Ramsey. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's time to give a crack at Ascension 20 on the Construct. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one. <clears throat> Elite spawn more often. Normal enemies are deadlier. Elite to deadlier. Bosses are deadlier. Heal less after boss battle. Study trunk damage. Normal enemies are tougher. Elite to tougher. Bosses are tougher. Study trunk cursed. Fewer potion slots. Upgraded cards. Pair less often. Poor bosses. Lower max HP. Unfavorable events. Shops are more costly. Normal enemies have more challenging movesets and abilities. Elites have more challenging movesets and abilities. Bosses have more challenging movesets and abilities. And double boss. Just to name a few. Alright, well, we might want to consider upgrading a card here at the very start. But the thing is, if I upgrade a card here at the very start, I'm effectively deciding what I want my run to be. So, if I upgrade, say, defense mode, or it, it would only be defense mode or attack mode, right? If I'm upgrading attack mode, I'm going aggressive. If I'm upgrading defense mode, I'm going defensive. Um, I'm not entirely, like, 100% invested on that when I, when I make that decision. But... I am kind of a little, let's be real. So if you shift to attack mode with the three, it's nine, nine this turn goes down by 18. 18 takes you down to tw uh, tw uh, tw uh, tw 23, 23, right? Yeah, actually that means I have lethal the turn after. Sweet. Well, I mean, most likely. There we go. Vent Steam Accumulate and Boost. Probably don't want to take any of these yet because I still haven't defined my deck. They're all kind of supplementary things for a defined deck and we don't have a defined deck. So we'll wait on the supplementary pickups. Savvy? Unfortunate turn there. Really would have liked to pick up a defend or even just the attack mode so I could have gotten real aggressive with it. Siphon Strike, Sweet Laser. Well, Sweet Laser is a good card for the strength build, so I'll take that. Helps us do some AoE. Ayo. We're going to be doing some damage. Enemy is very likely to hit the Bellow this turn. Yep, and they do. Which makes transforming into attack mode definitely correct. Steroid Potion's a nice pickup. Probably none of those, though. Heal 26. It's only 20 for me currently, though. I can't pick up the Relic. It's far too long until I get to remove it. Sorry, the Curse, that is. Uh, I... I'm taking the HP. I was very close to taking the Max there, though. Next turn is very likely the Fungi Beast in the front line buffs, and then the one in the back line attacks. Exactly what happens. Which makes it correct to have shifted into attack mode last turn so that it can go super aggressive on them this turn. Focused Beam, Heavy Bolt, Boost. No thank you on all of those. Uh, I'm actually going to upgrade the Sweep Laser and then go for the Mega Upgrade on the Sweep Laser in the next phase. So the Mega Upgrade, I think... Yeah, five damage to all enemies twice, and that's going to carry the extra strength. So that's really, really good AoE. Mm. So, I think in this combat, ideally, what I'm going to have to do is... Because if I play defense mode, I'm just never dealing damage in this combat. So I think what I have to do is just go really, really aggressive. The enemy will probably deal about 40 damage to me, but... You know, if I can't do anything about it, I can't do anything about it. So wait, I can deal one, two, three, four. So four hits this turn. Four hits with steroid potion is 20 extra damage, right? So 12, 12, 12, 12. So uh, that together is 48. 48 with 20 extra damage is 68. 68 from the enemy's current amount of HP leaves them on 29. 29 with attack mode and two strikes and likely another strike at least. Um, means 12, 12. I have lethal next turn. So I can save myself 20 HP by doing this. Just wanted to guarantee it. All right. Angry Mask. Whenever you spend any gold at a shop, start the next combat with two extra strength. Sure. Uh, mass production, metal shell, and anticipate. Actually not super into any of those. Thank you for the offer, though. Take the mega upgrade on the sweet laser. So it's worth noting that 
Like, I do want to go super aggressive in Gremlin Knob fights, and I do want to go super aggressive with AoE in Sentinel fights, so it's possible I go for the next Elite as well. More bank. Whenever you climb floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at the shop. That's really unfortunate, because there's a shop in two spaces time that I really wanted to go to. Unfortunate to get the attack mode at that time, but hey. That's when it came, that's when it came. Goodbye, Gremlin Knob, and hello to Bag of Marbles at the start of each combat apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Neat. Shift Strike would give us the ability to start picking up strength outside of just the uh, attack mode. I See, the thing is, I still have to just invalidate that more bank. I want a card removal and a chance at a good relic. Could I? No. But uh, Anchor, start each combat with 10 block, is actually really, really powerful for us. Uh, in addition to Bag of Marbles, it means I can go really aggressive on turn one and not feel too bad about it at all. Let's get that mega upgrade. If this is the Lug of Ulan, I'm almost certainly dead, so... That's as good a reason as any to not do it. Dodge that elite though. That's why I built the deck like I did, by the way. Exactly what just happened now. Upgrade a card in my deck or Ooh, special relic, curse of pain. Uh, I can't mega upgrade cards during combat, so I don't think I end up taking the relic there. So 28, 28 divided by 12 flawed is 2, 2 plus 1, so it's 3, 3 by 6, 18. So it's 18 damage is happening on turn 2. Um, but the thing is, I think we just have to go super aggressive here as well. So I'm going to get the mega upgrade on the shift strike. That's a lame. What a bad opening turn. Oh, that was my shift strike. Sorry, I thought that was my sweep laser, which is why I played it at the end of the turn rather than at the start. I'm going to throw the poison because I'm almost certainly dead here. So. I'm not killing you this turn. Not ridiculously far off, but... Not happening. The problem with the aggressive decks that happen for this character is that finding defense that fits in an aggressive deck is really, really difficult. Finding damage that fits in a defensive deck is really, really easy. So you've got, obviously, the engine that we used last... I think I may have crashed the game. Uh, you've obviously got the engine that we used in... Wait for the program to respond. Is that going to... No, I'm just going to crash it. All right, fine. Uh, we'll... We've obviously got the engine that we used in the last episode, and that was the... What was it called? Reactive armor? Uh, so that was every time that I gained any amount of block, I would deal three upgrades to four, mega upgrades to five, damage to the enemy with the lowest amount of HP. But also there's other things like shield burst, there's just defending while you build up a, uh, a deck that has a bunch of cores in it, and those cycle through for the damage, right? There's a bunch of ways to turn defensive things into aggressive things. But there aren't that many ways to turn aggressive things into defensive things. You can't really do that. So those kinds of like heavy, heavy, heavy aggression decks are pretty limited to like Ascension 1. That kind of a build was pretty good for it, but it would have done fine against basically everything except for thorns and bosses. That Okay, I accidentally turned the camera on myself for a moment there, so hopefully no one stops on that frame and sees that... I haven't necessarily washed my hair today. Let's go A20. I was just tabbing through the scenes on OBS, and one of them is for Hearthstone, so it has my face camera on it. Take a random red relic. Purple Fowry! Whenever you smith a card, heal HP depending on the card's routing. Uh, well, that's really good for us, right? Because. I can, uh, I can, you know, work towards mega upgrading my cards while getting a lot of healing. 
I don't want to take seven damage next turn, so. Yep. They this opening is not completely determined, by the way, so they can actually open in a completely different fashion to how I would prefer and go aggressive this turn rather than bellowing. Thankfully, they didn't, and we're all good. Shift guard. Well, that gives us a, another way to start gaining dex and losing strength. It's pretty powerful. I'll take the money and then just go to the shop immediately. Sure. Multi stage. Exhaust an attack of cost X or less at the start of your next two cards. Uh, next two turns, play a copy of that card. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'll take Anchor, start his combo with 10 block. I actually really, really rate Anchor. I think it's quite, quite good. Okay, so. I was obviously hoping for a double defend there. Now I'm fine for the damage. Gambler's Brew as well as Cluster Mines. No. To reinforce. I have no way to turn this into damage yet. I really don't like how this went. Uh, shield Burst would have been perfect. It's, it's lose all of your block deal one and a half times that damage to all enemies. Upgrades to two. Mega upgrades to three. Pretty sure I'm mega upgrades to three at least. Uh, Lughorn is going to be a problem for us. Because I can't deal damage if I start shifting defensively. So I have to start using attack mode constantly. We're actually probably just dead this combat without the ability to pick up any aggression. Kind of tragic, but that's how it goes. That said, I don't know if we were offered too many things that would have redeemed us in this position, so I don't feel too bad about it. Defense, shift guard, reinforce. Oh, look, I've still not lived. No matter what happened there. I would have needed like an attack to synergize with going for extra strength there. Just something. Upgrade a card. Again, we have the same position where I was talking about four. Ooh, but we've got a line where I can go... Okay, I'm it. We've got a line where I go for only one elite, but I get three upgrades this floor. That's pretty good. I am... Dead last, at least. Not interested. Ooh, okay. Charge up, cost of mine. No. Want to make sure that I don't get clumsy, so I pair it with something else. I take memory tap. Got memory tap. Not going to take clumsy. Not going to take clumsy. Wow. Again, there's not supposed to be able to be, in that event, two copies of the same curse. That was fixed a while ago. Like, I, I remember it being fixed. It's not supposed to be possible. I don't exactly know what I'm looking to achieve here. A dog person or cat person? I have... Never hidden the fact that I am very much a dog person. I used to be much more of a cat person, but then I accidentally changed myself into a dog person, and then afterwards I changed my partner into a dog person, so... Now we're gonna move somewhere cold and get a bunch of dogs. Big old dogs as well. The move somewhere cold is important because it's just cruel to get big dogs with, like thick coats in Australia. It'd just be mean. Cyclip already played this combat deal. 15 damage, apply too weak and too vulnerable. I'm gonna take that just as like a, a powerful card. What? 
I hate turns like this. They're attacking for 18 in turn one. What am I supposed to do about that? Shift back into attack mode before I can start doing damage here as well. Uh, never mind. Managed to luckily cycle myself back into strikes there. Skill potion as well as vent steam magic. Nope. Okay, so do I want to go for the upgrade and mega upgrade on missile, or do I want to go for the upgrade and mega upgrade on memory tap? Because it's definitely upgrade and mega upgrade on memory tap. I'm just, you know, checking. This will help me get through elites much more quickly. Thousand cuts, hell yes. Do it faster. Next turn, gain two energy, apply slow to all enemies, and add makes us stronger to our harm. Oh, and that only costs two. Reach non-lightning orb channel this combat channel one lightning. Well, that's never going to help us. Should be able to go pretty aggressive here. Ideally. No? You know, I'm just getting the word in now. Apparently, that's a that's a no on that. Oh, no. It's fine. A thousand cuts has got my back. Power potion. Uh, choose one of three random powers to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Unbalancing glass, reinforce, and backfile. Take none of those. Let's get the mega upgrade on memory tap. Blue Candle, unplayable curse cards can have you played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust it. I mean, I'll take that because I'm not going to the heart, so there's no reason not to. All right, memory tap. Don't let me down. Die, die, die. All out attack. Both of those great pickups. Make it better. Upgrade all cards in your hand. This turn, whenever you draw a card, upgrade it. Add do it faster to your hand as well. Play a random upgraded strike on the same enemy. I mean, we've got a lot of aggression here. If the enemy intends to buff, gain one orb slot and channel one random orb. No one's intending to buff here. That's uh, that's a pretty good unfitting turn right there. Quite pleased with how it went. Goodbye, Sentry, and hello, Tiny Chest. Upon pickup, gain 30 gold. You're 10% more well likely to find treasure in question mark rooms as well as... So I take and then mega upgrade and, uh, and enhance. The thing is, the enhance is going to have like very few targets in my deck, right? Because the memory tap is going to be most of my deck for a short period of time at the very least. I'll take the enhance and mega upgrade that next, yeah. A mega upgraded enhance is pretty potent. Okay, meditation, gain two focus at the end of your turn, lose all focus whenever you lose HP. Striking strike, dodge and roll, ramp. Okay. Just making absolutely certain that I didn't have any cards there that were going to deal self damage. Because obviously, if I did, I needed to play those first. Yes, I could do that turn. Still, all's well that ends well. Gatling gun. I don't have strength though, but I, fine. Can hardly complain. I'm in a skill potion. I'm looking for defense. Because that's just a garbage opening turn. I have half a mind to take the power potion. Ugh. Disgusting. All right, hopefully I go hyper aggressive against the jawworm next turn and the backliner doesn't attack. Never mind. Well, it's difficult to go hyper aggressive when you don't have any cards that will help you do that. Memory tap on the absolute bottom of the deck. Well, you know what? Gonna need some good stuff here, game. Carnage is good stuff. Is 
All right then. Ow, once more. Gonna be down though. Orange pellets, when you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. That seems incredible for this character. Can mega upgrade cards is really important. Right, I'm taking the mega enhance. Okay, memory tap shows us. Echo form is incredible. Discard any number of cards. Apply four poison for each card discarded. And apply three poison for each card discarded this turn. My god. Of course we're doing that. Of course we are. Do I keep the burning packs? I should have played the burning pact on a strike first. Well. <laughs> Can't believe we don't have a single defensive card here. What on earth? I literally just need to defend while I wait until I win. That was a really, really good memory tap. And my turn twice, and we've got it. Very glad I took the upgrade before I came in here. Still not really sure what this deck does, though. Whenever a non, whenever a non upgraded card cycles, exhaust it and. Japan, no. Multi stage. Exhaust an attack of cost X or less. Start of your next two turns, play a copy of that card. That only really makes sense if I get it in the same hand as Memory Tap. What is the mega upgrade of multi stage? Mega upgrade of multi stage. Constructs, card list, STS. I know, I know. I would bookmark this, but I'm using the, the tab menu of, or rather the, the tab browser of Steam. So it's not very feature complete. I don't know if I actually can even bookmark things here. Okay, so multi-stage. The mega upgrade is the next year five turns. Okay, so it literally only makes sense to use multi-stage if it's in the same hand as memory tap. What happens if I play multi-stage on a Gatling gun? Does the Gatling gun then play for the X value as defined by the multi-stage? See, I don't want to risk it by taking it this... This time and finding out that it doesn't work at all like I would like it to. Calling Bell. Upon pickup, Cain, three curses and three relics. Well, I have no ability to pick up the extra energy here that I was hoping for. So I might as well go for the Calling Bell. I've got the blue candle so I can play the curses out. Doubt, Clumsy, Decay. Well, I wouldn't even play Clumsy, so Doubt and Decay. Not bad. Tori, whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one, as well as Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card, and Centennial Puzzle. Centennial Puzzle, as well as Blue Candle, is going to offset the card negativity of having those curses in the deck, because I burn one using the Blue Candle, I lose one HP, I draw three cards, three cards are the amount of curses in my deck. I mean... Uh, that... That worked out basically... Basically perfect for me. Now, the big problem that we're going to encounter in this is that it's going to take four attacks to put any enemy on the ground. Otherwise, I would have already put an enemy on the ground. But it takes four attacks to put an enemy on the ground. Okay. That could be a lot worse. I don't think I attack mode, but I just play meditation. The focus does nothing for me, so whatever. Oh 
Okay, that was, I'm amazed that that put an enemy on the ground. Tap. You've truly saved the day. Nothing there, though. You're definitely not losing memory tap. Um, well, I have a shop in a couple spaces, but 86 for a relic is a good price. Master Core, the start of combat, shuffle three random cores into your draw pile. Well, at the very least, we've got the enhance that can mega upgrade those for us. So in that way, they could still be super useful. way too early to play that attack mode against this enemy. Or not. So pretty much have to kill this turn. Sweet. Shift potion. That's all. No. Yeah, I figured this was going to be useful. As soon as I had that previous event. So I'm now worried about going for two elites. I think I should have been worried about it before, but this is the most upgrade. Oh, come on, game. Bad hand. I should have considered just playing the Ascender's Bane out of my hand just to draw cards there. Poison. What are they even hologram back here? Like another attack mode? Fine. So I'm a nightmare attack mode. Can I be used if you have lightning? Eh, never mind. It's not going to be able to be used for us then. Taking a significant hit this turn in order to do this this turn. This deck does nothing. It's this is doomed. Sure, I'll take synchronize and I'll play it just in case. K draws his three cards. Nothing's a copy. Um, as long as I also play an attack this turn. So I, I defend, then do all of those. Then I play the Gatling Gun, and that purges my defense. Uh, sorry, my negative strength there. I'm also going to weaken the backliner, because it's possible they attack two turns in a row. And if they do, then that will pay off. Yeah, eh, they attack two turns in a row, but it's still not great. Now, I don't have an attack to play here, so I can't purge the negativity of playing a attack mode. Yeah, I'm just dead. Well, memory tap saved me. Dual world rebound, find 99 lock on. Ooh, yeah. There's a lot. See, this, this is a problem. Like, almost every single card I've seen from, from Jedi mod that has spawned or almost every card i have seen for the defect spawn has been from jedi mod and almost all of those have been completely useless to me because i don't have orbs so it's fine if i'm playing the defects but i'm not so random card generation effects and diverse modifiers and all of those kinds of things are far less powerful I mean, it's hilarious that we got as far as we did here. Rip. 
Well, that's our first foray into Ascension 20. At the very least, we did make it halfway through the second act, which, you know, could be a lot worse. For the moment, my name is Wind Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spy Modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.